Hello, this exam soft quick tip is about multiple answer questions. So everything I'm going to talk about today is happening in the questions part of the portal. I'm going to flip over to exam soft quickly. So when you come into the portal, you can either click on the questions tab here or go to the create questions blue ball, this blue circle right here, and it will lead you to the same location. So I'm going to click on the questions tab at the top here. And so what we're going to be talking about today is if you're making a multiple choice question and to create a multiple choice question you would click on this button right here over on the left. If you're creating a multiple choice question that has more than one correct response. So let's go ahead and click that button and this brings us to the, the template for setting up a multiple choice question. I'm going to flip back over to my presentation now because I have a screen grab of that screen here. And in this particular example my question is what are prime numbers? The options that I've given for the students are 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have two correct answers here. 3 and 5 are both prime numbers. I've keyed them both as prime numbers over here on the right hand side. Okay so now that we have a question that has more than one correct answer we have some decisions to make about how this, is, this question is going to be presented to the students and how it's going to be graded. And those um, those options are controlled over here on the left hand side of the screen under options. So I'm going to zoom in and show you that part of the screen in a little more detail. We're going to be focusing on this section over here, multiple answers, but I'm just going to go over what the left hand side of the options are. Weight is just how many points the question is worth. Um, typically people just leave that at one and the reason I think that's a good idea is that you can actually change the weight of the question when you build the assessment and that's sometimes a lot more flexible. You, this particular question you might want it to be worth a certain number of points on one particular test but then when you, re you reuse this question on a different test you might want it to be worth a different weight. So if you don't worry about setting a weight here when you're building the question and you go and add it to an assessment you can change the weight of each question when you build the assessment and I think that's just more flexible. You don't have to worry about it when you're building the question. Similarly, uh, randomized choices. You can choose to randomize each of the options that you've presented to the student by selecting this checkbox when you're creating the question, but that's also an option that you can change uh, when you build the assessment. So most people don't click this box here. Okay, so let's talk about the options on the right hand side here for how uh, the scoring is going to be done for a question that has more than one right answer. There are three different options. You can select neither of these two boxes or you can select either partial credit or select all that apply. The system won't let you select both of these boxes at the same time. So let's go through what all those options mean. So if you select the partial credit option here what that means is that um, when students take this exam in Exemplify and come to this question, they are going to be able to select the same number of options as there are correct responses. So in our example there were two correct responses. That means the student is going to be, so, going to be able to select two options when they take the, take the test. They could select less than two, but they can't select more than two. So this is actually a really big hint to the students once they figure out that this is what's happening. Uh, and they probably will figure this out if they're taking lots of exams that have questions that have more than one right answer. Um, as soon, so on, 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 in a regular multiple choice question that only has one right answer, the student will select one option. If they go to select a second option, what the system does is it removes that first option and makes the second option the one that's selected. So they can only select one correct option at a time. In this case, with a partial credit question, they were, they're able to select that first one, they go to select a second one, and the system lets them have both of them selected. But then if they go to select a third one, the system won't let them have three selected at once. It will just change one of their answers to whatever they've most recently selected. So at this point, the students know how many correct responses there are in this question. When you set it up this way, the students are going to get partial points 
for however many options they got right. So in our case we had two possible correct answers. They can get either 0.5 of points or one point for this question. If they selected one of the two right options, they're going to get 0.5. No matter what that other one that they selected. So they've selected one that's correct. And maybe they didn't select a second option at all or maybe they selected a second incorrect option. Since they got one of them right, they're going to get 0.5 points. They're not penalized for wrong answers, in other words. Um, so the next option is if you, sel if you click the Select All That Apply button. In this case, students can select as many or as few responses as they want. The system gives them no hint as to how many correct responses there are. So they could select zero or they could select all the responses. However, there are no partial credits awarded in this case the student has to get all of the right answers and only the right answers to get the the point for the question. In this case it's one point, but maybe it's more depending on how you've set it up. So to get the full credit for this question, they have to select just the right answers and nothing else. And if they do anything else other than that, they get no points for the question. So in our case, they would have to select those two prime numbers and nothing else and they would get the points for the question. If they did anything else, they would not get the point. So the third option is if you don't select either of those checkboxes. And in this case, the system, as far as the student sees it when they're taking the test, it kind of looks like a partial credit style question for the student. Again, they can figure out that there are only two right answers and the system won't let them select more than two. They can select less, but they can't select more than the number of right options. However, the grading works like a select all that apply in this case, so they have to get the two right and only those two to get credit for the question. If they select anything else other than those two right answers, and or if they don't select both of the right answers, they get zero points. So the big limitation in ExamSoft for questions that have multiple right answers is that there is no way that we can set it up so that the student doesn't get a hint as to how many correct options there are, but still give them partial credit. That, that scenario cannot be set up beforehand in the system, unfortunately. And the only current workaround re we really have, if you want to do that, and if you want to not give them a hint, but still give them partial credit for parts of the parts for the responses that they did get right, the only way to do that is to, after the students have uploaded all their exams, is to go into exam taker results and view what each of the students selected and then do a manual score adjustment and give them those partial credits. So I'll show you what that looks like. In this case, um, we're in a particular assessment. So um, we're actually on the, um, in, the, in the assessment tab um, here in a particular assessment and we're looking at the results for uh, an example test that was posted. So I can see here uh, under the report scoring and release exam take, or re sorry, exam taker results, we can see what each of the students selected. So in, for question one, I can see that first student selected A, second student selected A and B, and the third student selected B, C, and D. I know that this question was set up as a select all that apply question uh, and the way we can tell that from these results is that the, student, the only student to get this, any points for this question was the student that selected A and B. The student who selected A but not B got zero points and the student who selected B but also C and D got zero points. So if you wanted to give student A, for example, partial credit because they knew one of the two right answers in this case, what you would have to do is look at all these responses and then write down that you wanted to do that for the student. So you'd want to give the student probably 0.5 points. Then you'd have to go back to the exam taker activity tab and put in that manual score adjustment. So under the score adjustment column, you would type plus 0.5 in this box for that student and that would give them an extra 0.5 points on their overall assessment score. If this score adjustment column isn't showing up for you, you can make it show up by going over here to the cog, click on that, and then a drop down list will appear that will have uh, the different column heading names and you just select the one that says score adjustment and then it will show up for you. And it, it usually shows up at the end, but you could 
you can just click and drag it over to wherever you want to put it within the table. So that is the way to actually apply a score adjustment within ExamSoft um, to give some partial credits to questions uh, that are set up as essentially select all that apply. All right, well, if you had any additional questions about how to implement these type of um, multiple choice questions in ExamSoft, please don't hesitate to contact anyone in the Office of Assessment. Thank you.